Pero, oh, you can do the ring. Ready? Hold on. One. Make sure you don't get the ceiling. Just yeah. ready? One, two, three. All right. We're live. We're live and direct. Appreciate you pulling up. Shout out to Nestor. Thanks for the All invite, the way bro. from Phoenix, Arizona. For those that don't know. So just kind of explain if somebody were to be like, Nestor, what 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 would you what would be your introduction? So, so what's up, guys? My name is Nestor. Uh, my family and I have a YouTube channel called The Aguilars. We're not a normal family, guys. I'm not a normal husband. I do a lot of comedy. Yeah, um, funny. Oh so yeah, guys, subscribe and you guys will be you guys won't be like disappointed for sure, man. His stuff's funny. I'm gonna tag his um, actual handles down below. I'm also gonna tag him right here so that way you guys could see. If this is the first time you guys are actually seeing the Needed Podcast, make sure that you guys subscribe, like, and drop a comment on this video. Um, season two, I told you guys I was going to do my best to start to get some different people on here to talk about different things. And really with me, bro, it's bringing on the people and not really just giving them what they already see from you. Like, obviously a lot of people see comedy, but then we want to talk about yeah. other things. Cause like a lot of topics have depth, you know, and sometimes yeah, yeah. people just see like, okay, Nestor's funny, but you know, how did that start? You know what I mean? Well, so just kind of going to that, like the comedy, what really got you into that? Well, it started like, as um, I always started with like, I don't know, a, a, it's gonna sound weird, but like, kind of used to do like, uh, she used to go to school like for like hair and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And she, I remember her bringing her first wig, and I just started fucking with it, bro. Like, <laughs> I just started doing like run, random shit like that, and and I used to always like mess around with the girls, like, like chingarlas and shit, because I'm always like, you can't take me serious, because I'm always like, even the people that know me and shit, like, I t I do everything as a joke, and sometimes I'm like, bro, where do you get all this shit from? That's like, also a problem yeah. because then you don't they don't know when you are yeah, serious. Yeah, right? no, bro. So even my like candy and shit, and the kids and like my friends are like, bro, like where you got all this funny shit from? Like, where? Because I'm always thinking, bro, like skits and shit. Yeah, like that. that's yeah. dope that you're actually doing it too, mm -hmm. because I think like I have a sense of humor too, but yeah. I have this certain... That like you don't show it? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's hard for me to show it. It's hard for me to express it. It's always been, but it's not... Yeah. Like, the wig shit, mm -hmm. so Blanca always has extensions laying around, right? So one time yeah. we did do one, and it was funny, but, you know, since I wear the hat, and then you'll put the long-ass extension, it looks yeah. funny. It was like, you have a mullet, you know? <laughs> yeah, like, stupid yeah. shit like that. But doing a skit, como que no. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've never really jumped into that too much, but that's cool. And... Um, yeah, what's new? Uh, we're... Our online store is growing, you know, so we we're thinking of getting a bigger warehouse maybe open up a store like a bigger store and shit like that and we got something like we, we just got news today bro so oh uh, really we just got some big news but i can't tell you guys yet because it's a secret wow. can, can i thought will, this is was this candy will kill me bro <laughs> so but yeah guys we're really excited uh, a lot of big things coming 2022 for the aguilars you know like a lot of big shit bro we're Real excited dope. and what about the current work right now um are you kind of just the same with that or you've been just doing trying to do different stuff with that uh, too yeah, bro, like, every day we we brainstorm a lot of stuff. We try to, like, move up all the time. I feel like every year we, like, we grow. Mm -hmm. um, not just as humans, but, like, influencers. And, and just, like, we use our platform to, like, um, try to do more, like, more business moves and stuff like that. But yeah. This year we've been blessed to, like, meet a lot of, like, uh, like big people and shit. And yeah. so they're, like, kind of, like, schooling us, like, where to invest and shit like that. Because me and Candy, like, Candy and I like to, like, invest in our, like, like businesses and shit right. like that. Yeah, because aside from this, you know, like you could generate money through social media, but it's also yeah, yeah. what you do with it after, like yeah, yeah. longevity, investing, long term money. You know what I mean? Because I mean, you could make money and feel rich, but yeah, it doesn't yeah. mean you're really creating wealth. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I feel that man, that's dope. And um, really, even back to what you said about meeting bigger people, the the social currency, man, that shit's yeah. really. I know that's crazy. That's really. Um, it's like they say in Spanish, like vale más el el amistad que el dinero. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? And I think that's dope too that that you guys are about that and you guys are meeting the people and shit just connections you know and, what I mean and, and it's crazy I was telling Kenny too like it's crazy how like we meet these big people bro and they're like hey bro we're big fans of you guys and like, <laughs> right and back then we were like used to watch them and now they watch us <laughs> yeah like, fuck it's crazy now so, influencers definitely have became I, w I mean I don't want to say the new celebrities but they're definitely yeah. more like people would rather gravitate to watch that than watch something else and that's yeah. why a lot of actors and shit they started transitioning into starting to get on youtube yeah. and, and even doing podcasts or doing um skits whatever the case may be shit that you never really saw them do before so the, everything's changing um how did all that start for you guys actually uh so like when we started like blogging and stuff like that yeah like how did all that start and so, how long have you been doing it so we started off guys um so i was i was truck driving at the time i was truck driving for like 12 years and candy was a cna uh a couple years back and so she was like hey, you know what i want to start my my makeup channel and 
So she started doing that. And I'm like, you know what? Well, I was making really, really good money. And yeah, I'm like, sure both of you guys already yeah. had something pretty legit. Yeah, bro. So I was like, you know what? Um, stop working. I'll I'll pay all the bills, whatever. I'll I'll support you whenever whatever you want to do and shit. So she started doing like like makeup and hair and shit like that. And uh, a couple months later, my son he he got sick. Mm -hmm. So he had um he got really really sick and shit like that. So we took him to the hospital and. Did, um, ended up finding out he had leukemia and stuff like that. Yeah. So when we were in, in the hospital, we used to do Facebook lives, and then people would like be like, "Hey, you know what? Like, um, you guys, just, you guys are interesting. Like, you guys start like vlogging and stuff like that. Your your journey." So we started doing that, bro, and it just uh, well, he got he, there was days that we had good days, there was days we had bad days, and um, so. People wanted to see more from us. They'll send us messages like, hey, come on, guys, go more live on Facebook or do more videos. And we were like, oh, fuck, there was days that, like, we'll get, like, a fever or he had an infection and shit like that. And there was days, like, fuck, bro, we didn't want to vlog and stuff like that. So um, after after when we got out of the hospital and he passed away, well, all our family went to, like, depression and shit like that. Yeah, that's tough, man. That's why, you know, I, I know that that's, like, a big thing, uh, something that a lot of people were – following and i mean shit i can't even imagine because obviously you know mm -hmm. we have kids and shit and that that's mm -hmm. such a i did want to touch on that but i didn't want to be pressing about it either no, no, i just feel like okay. as long as you're cool talking about yeah, it i'm cool um sometimes people don't understand you know but there's a lot of things that go in between that and then for you guys to still continue and you know I'm, i can imagine it was such a tough time for your family and yeah, you know did you go through a pretty like rough patch there like just kind of obviously working through that yeah, well, actually, bro, like, I was, like, I had to be the strong one, you know? I was, right. so, el, que la cabeza de la familia, but then, like, like, candy is always la cabeza también. You know, a lot of people say, oh, el, el nombre es el que, like, la cabeza de yeah. la familia, but I felt like when we, Sebastian passed away, like, pasaron meses, and people would send us messages, like, hey, come on, blog guys. And at the time, um, YouTube wasn't paying us. Like, yeah. we were getting... Um, a lot of people like, hey, come on, blog guys. So we, we were doing it for fun. Oh, so you weren't monetized yet. Yeah, we were much. not monetized yet. So, and a lot of influencers started like hitting us up. Like, hey, bro, like let's collab. And we were like, shit, like we're like at a, I think we were like at a hundred K around oh, there. Oh shit. So it grew really fast. Yeah. And then people were like bigger. People were like calling us like, hey, let's, let's collab and this and that. And so on the end, like, like, you know what? Let's just, I'll grab the camera. Like, hey, let's, let's, let's vlog. Let's start vlogging. Let's tell our, our journey. And. So we started doing that, and then we made a promise to Sebastian and everything. And when uh, we're gonna do blood drives and stuff like that, so that's what we do now. So, so I you feel guys like, are like pretty involved with all yeah. that too. So I feel like I feel like our journey, todo lo que pasamos. I feel like that we have a different mindset. Like our our we see life different, you know. Like yeah, for sure. So money, money, todo eso, fame and shit like that. Like we don't care about life. Since we go to a store, I go to a random store like in a canceria. Yeah, and people are like, "What are you doing here, bro?" Like, <laughs> right. okay, then like, yeah, bro, like I shop here too. Like, I'm, yeah. yeah, they always think that siempre vamos a comer like lobster and fucking nah, shit fuck shit no. like that. We nah, still bro, eat like, beans and yeah, rice. Like, and, I, like I like all that shit, bro. Yeah. Like, like people just think we're like different. Nah, know? yeah, you know, bro. I, I think that's cool too that that they relate to you too. I think that also it makes people realize like shit, we're not really that far off, yeah, and yeah. and it is and it is like that. We speak about that. Uh, the hard thing with me is is getting approached too porque tengo cara de no, a lot of people can't even be like, hey, just because and it's just like kind of like intimidating. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. So I'm just like, fuck, bro. Like, now nah, a lot of people, you know, they, 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 they I, I want to say you leave a good impression, you know, once they meet you and shit, but yeah. that's dope. I mean, and we still do all that too, man. And we've never been the type to feel like superior. And, you know, that shit goes over a lot of people's heads, yeah, yeah. you know, and that's why, you know, they, they move up quick, but they also fall down. Yeah. That's and, true. you know, you got to be level headed. You got to stay grounded and, and always you know, realize that shit, like you're here because of the, your supporters and you got to show them love. Yeah, and I think true. that's really what was kept us good, man. And, you know, I feel like me, I'm barely starting to show a little more of me. You know, my wife's always been there, so I'm just kind of in the shadows. And sometimes I, you know, they see little moments here and there. But, I mean, you get judged a lot on social media, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. how do you guys deal with all that? I know there's some negative, too, along with the good um, stuff. I feel like the way I see it, bro, like, like I feel like, it's not. It's never gonna stop because you're gonna have people that love you and hate you and shit. You know. Yeah. So I feel like if you know who you are, God knows who you are, bro. Like, sigue le dando and shit like that. Those people are gonna have an opinion because they see like ten minutes of your vlog and shit like that. Right. So I mean, how are you gonna hate on a person that you don't even know? Right. Like, I, like me, like me. If I don't, 
fuck with nobody, I'm gonna be like, you know what? I just don't fuck with them. I'm not gonna be like, hey, fuck you, and I don't like your shit, and this and that. Like, right, that I, takes a lot yeah. actually to go on there and write some yeah, shit. Right, it just takes a paragraph. Why are you gonna use your energy when you can use it in making money or business moves? Yeah, and shit like that, you know? always. I'm I'm big on all that energy stuff and and prioritizing like what's important. So many people focus on just sitting there judging people talking shit yeah. instead of if you use that same energy to to pour out all that negative stuff into good yeah. stuff you might actually be doing something you know yeah. instead of just being on the screen and um you know there's a fine line bro that's why you know recently like this uh, month i just took like a break from it yeah. and you know i was still on there because there's people i keep up with through dm but i mean for the most part it was good to kind of step away and just be a little more in the moment you know that's kind of hard for us too because we're always so busy like yeah doing so much shit so um you know just being present with family, the wife, you know what I mean? Yeah. So you know what's up. I mean, you guys been together for how long? Fucking shit. I'm hoping right. <laughs> 17 years. <laughs> it's a test right now. 17 years, bro. Oh, shit. It's yeah. a long time. I feel you on that, bro, because, like, me and Candy, like, we're workaholics, bro. Like, some of them Yeah. And sometimes we forget to have fun. Yeah. Or so, even 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 just be yeah. with each other. You know what I'm saying? It, yeah. It's just everything becomes, you know, about work instead of being like, yo, let's watch a movie. Let's go out to eat yeah. and then leave that aside. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Bro, I swear even, like, people think that just because you stop, you're not going to be back to where you're at. But you're probably going to be two steps ahead because you yeah. come back more energized and yeah, shit. And that's true. what I've been learning. So um, that's good. So how's the family, though? I know you guys have kids. Yeah, they're, they're doing good, bro. Like, um, my kids are growing up, man. Like, my daughter, Angelique, the smallest one, and she's growing up right now. She's, like, crawling right now. How old? She's, uh, she's going to be 11 months. 11 months. Month. Yeah. And then you have... Older kids, too, no? Yeah. Nicole, she's uh, 19. She's going to be 20 this year. Uh, Melody, she's going to be 18 this year. Ethan is 15. Sheesh. Yeah, you yeah. got... They're damn near, like, looking like your brothers and sisters, yeah. no? Yeah, bro. That's just, like... That's not going to kind of say. It's just because, you know, they're teenagers, bro. Like, well, you try yeah. to school them, too, you know, because like, they make their own money, too. They have their right. YouTube channel. That's dope. So we try to school them, too. Like, hey, you know, invest your money on this. Yeah, that's yeah. all luxury. Like, yeah, yeah. Viene, when you see the money coming in and flowing, it's going to be okay. You know, I can treat myself to, like, designer and and invest in shit like that. Cause nope. don't, don't just throw your money away because say that they don't check it at YouTube. And you're not, you're going to be like, oh, shit, I'm going to buy some designer. But who are you trying to impress when you don't have that kind of money in the, your bank account? You know? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's very important that at least. And there's a fine line, especially right now in the way the modern day is. Like, how are yeah. you how are you navigating through that with, yeah. with teenagers? Like, and, and them seeing everything. And, you know, everything's about perception. And, yeah. um, you know, they see something they want it or they want to be like other people. So yeah. how, how, how's that been? Well, a lot of people piensa que, like, um because when we start making money like they feel like we spoil our kids but we told our kids from the start hey if you guys want designer and everything you guys got to work hard for it because you do yeah. then you learn how to va uh, value what you have right you know so you know you, it's, it's hard working like see it's like it's like a reward at the end of the day, right you know so yeah and that's good too that that um they could treat themselves but it definitely feels a lot better when you work for it oh yeah you know so yeah. that's why i'm like shit my kids are little you know two and three but so many people tell me about that stage, right? When they go, yeah. when they grow up, but they're good right now, man. They're, they're like little twins. Um, how was it having that gap though from having now an 11 month old and, and then, you know, it was, basically it was, have babysitters yeah. at this point. It, no? was, it was crazy, bro. Cause, uh, when Angelique was born, I was like, okay, it's cool. You know, I'm going to set up in my own diapers and everything. It was like the same before that you used to grab your shit and just leave, you know? Now you're just like, fuck, you got to see if it's the, uh, the diaper bag is good. You got the milk, you got the diapers. Yeah. And the good thing we have kids, like, when we have to do something really, really quick, like, they'll take care of her and right. shit like that. So. Which is super important, man, having help. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't have it, but if you have help, you know, the kids, bro, honestly, all they want is attention. Yeah. You know, they need to eat. They need to learn. And, you know, obviously, being Hispanic, you know, I'm sure you could relate. Growing up, the parents, they came to the country just to work. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? So they didn't true. have time to teach us that. Yeah. Imagine, like, what I would have right now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we would have got all those... Uh, extra things that now we could probably do yeah, for yeah. our kids i know so yeah. you know it's just being able to give them something better that we didn't have yeah. at the end of the day but um how, how how was that transition though of being going back to the diapers because there's a lot of new shit now like everything's yeah, a little more high tech yeah, and yeah, it's the crazy. diapers show you when there's pee you know what i mean yeah. shit like that so we it, it was crazy though because uh, when we started shopping for for angelique like um you know how you get like the paniqueas and like i don't know if it happens to you like with their newborns like they're not scared of and shit like see yeah. if they're breathing and shit yeah, yeah yeah right so we didn't get no sleep bro at the time we had a shit little sponsors uh so yeah it was no, no dormimos para nada estamos bien desvelados bro and so we ended up finding out about this uh 
I don't know if you heard about it, the sock. Right, 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 the sock. That shit's expensive, actually, yeah. but I heard it's really good because it pretty much tells you, right, yeah. it beeps or something like that. So that shit fucking helps out a lot, bro. So, yeah, I know some of my sock was with that shit. Right, yeah. yeah. And, you know, as parents, like, we have this, uh, we have, like, this extra instinct. Um, but I feel it, man. I mean, and, and sometimes you think that it's done there, but now that my, my kids are two and three, they still be getting up and shit. So it's, like, in that transition of putting them in their own bed. Yeah. And right now my daughter's the more of a challenge. She's going on to three. My son's a little easier, but I feel like it's a little hard when they're so close because then they kind of feed off of each other. Yeah. So true. she grows faster, but then he tries to act like a <laughs> little baby. It. You know what I mean? Damn. Because he sees her. Yeah, yeah. So that's kind of what we're going through with them. But they're good, man. It's just, I think, learning what each kid likes. Sometimes we want to treat them all the same, but every kid requires different things. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah, right um, now, like, Angelique, too, like, with that style, like, crawling, and she wants to be, like, climbing up, like, a lot mm-hmm. of shit, so sometimes we're, like, editing, and we're, like, hey, Angelique, so she's, like, always crawling and getting shit, so I said, it's the laptop. A, yeah, it takes us more to, like, edit, and yeah, for to, sure. like, get work done, too, because um, emails and all that shit, bro, like, oh, yeah. we're from, from home, but, like, we're always on our phone, you know, so we can right. work from there. Yeah, how, how, how is it, you know, how do you work better? Do you work better, like, within all that, or do you feel like you need to be in your own little spot, like, Sometimes I feel like everything? I need a little spot. Yeah, sometimes I feel like um, sometimes we, I feel like we need the help too because I'm not gonna go bows, but we like to be with Angelique. Cause I don't want to be like, oh, uh, the nanny who like lay so raised, you know. Like we always want, we want to <laughs> yeah. be there for her. So I feel like at this point, you're like, like maybe we got to hire like a, an assistant right. or a nanny que está ahí, uh, just cuidando when we have a lot of work and shit like that. Right. Yeah, and we have we have help with her mom now. Um, but it took a while, bro. For a long time, we were alone, so it was like, okay, you go do your thing i'm gonna watch them yeah, yeah um thankfully we could work remotely but it's also sometimes it is required for you to step out and do other things yeah so that's why you know now i have like my own little space here so i could kind of zone out and get things done but there's always so much to do man especially excuse me especially if you have multiple things going on yeah because every every business requires um a different kind of focus for example editing is one thing right mm-hmm. filming yeah you know not forgetting to capture what you want. And then on top of that, if you guys are running like an online store, yeah. keeping up with that shit too, the emails, a lot of people don't understand yeah. that. A manager too, get the talando, hey, you got the shit done and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if you're getting like brand deals or whatever too, you got to make sure that you're punctual with that because yeah. that's your, that's your reputation at the end of the day. So, mm-hmm. you know, at least you guys have a lot of work and, you know, it looks like you guys are figuring it out and have yeah. the help. So, um, what about your, your older kids? Like, you know, obviously it's that stage, right? Where like, what do you really want to do? Or, you know, do they see themselves being still like, I feel like on that route. Yeah. I feel YouTube? like, yeah. I feel like they're, uh, ahorita like Melody, she's more, um, I feel like they want to be kids still, you know, like Ethan and Melody. Nicole's more like following our, our steps right now. So she saves, she's saving all her money, you know? So let's go, you know what? So a rato ya que tengas una, like, do you have like a certain amount you can invest in the house? Maybe flip it. Mm-hmm. She like that and make your money and she like that. I just and she's about that too, like the little business yeah. mindset. And she right now she helps us out too at the store, so she takes care of the store emails and stuff like that. And we have a team too at the store too, so they take care of the store right now. And we're over here. That's cool but too uh, because you could kind of like teach them young, yeah, like yeah. the labor part of it. Yeah, you yeah. know So that's good giving them opportunities. Yeah. Um, because honestly, bro, that's the thing. Like experience, like you really gotta. I think either the way life works, I think you gotta fuck up and learn yeah. yourself, or or you gotta go you know, listen to somebody that's already fucked up yeah. and then you learn through them. So at least they're being like that. Um, and how is it over there where you guys stay at? Um, it's, it's good, bro. It's, uh, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix. Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona. It's, I've never uh, been actually. Yeah. Well, you got to go now. Now, now I have to go well, pull Angelique, up on Esther. Angelique's birthday is on the fifth. So you're invited, bro. Next month. Yeah. Uh, March. Oh, okay. March. March 5th. Okay. March 5th. Cool. Uh, but yeah, bro, it's, it's pretty cool, bro. It's growing. Um, Phoenix is growing, and the area that we live at, it's uh, they're building like they're building like resorts now. Oh, okay, so, so they're like kind of going with that vibe. Yeah, they're going up, so everything's growing. They build a lot of like plazas and shit like that. So it, it's, it's developing, it's developing. I think yeah. a lot of places right now are especially. I mean, even if you're talking about flipping houses and stuff, if you talk, talk about the market, that shit went up a lot, right? Yeah, so is bro. that how you guys got a little more like on it, or yeah. were you guys already involved in that before? Um, we were since we started YouTube, bro. We just started like stacking our money and just like. Freaking like just investing all our money. You have you know how you have your gains and lost and shit like that. But yeah. oh, um, this year, like every year, you grow and shit. So it's almost, I told Kenny, you know what? Let's just start investing more, like in when se puede, like in casa. So, um, so we're thinking maybe in a year or two, start like buying houses and like flipping them and shit like that. Right. 
no, it's a good business, and, and once you get the hang of it, I think, and you get the right people, it's it's a good thing. I mean, excuse me, we went through a whole remodel, so we were thinking that's what we wanted to do, but when we went through the remodel, man, that shit was crazy. It's so a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's kind of like a rehab almost, not really a, a new construction, but still, like, just the process. Like, I see these stores, right, like, the ones that you actually go in and buy, like, the tile yeah. at, and I don't want to step like, foot in there. Like, fuck. fuck that, yeah. It's yeah. a headache, bro, for real. That shit was... Um, that shit took a lot out well, of the, us. Yeah, the good thing with me, bro, I, I used to work in construction, so I know a lot of look, like right. things. I do try to do it myself, but I already know like prices and somebody trying to like, like what I'm in my house. I'm like, nah, bro, like this is you do it yourself. Is, you know, I'm more like yeah. a contractor. Like I don't yeah. do shit. más mando la gente. I think I just fit that role better. Yeah, yeah, it's weird, bro. Honestly, with the guy, like, were you always handy like that growing up? Yeah, bro. Like, cause um, when I started, like at 13, I started working at a tire shop, and then my brother started. All of my brothers were like always working in construction. That's dope. So when I was with them, they and we just remember them barriendo like behind them, and they'd be like, "Hey, bro, like show me that shit." They're like, "Nah, bro, they just you know, must be there." So that's how I learned, bro. It's interesting though, like when you see people working like that, it actually you know you notice what goes into it and stuff. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I feel like it's not too late. Like you can learn a lot of little stuff that way. You take care of it yourself. It's just a matter of learning, you know, and yeah. and maybe fucking up. But sometimes too, with what we do. You know, I could go and be trying to learn something for three hours or I could be doing a video or something yeah, else. You know what I mean? True. So that's the dilemma for me. But I feel like a lot of people like I say about say haters, you know, like I say, send like I'll, I'll see like a comment here and they're like, hey, where's the or, 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 so you guys you don't never get worked. It. You guys never worked on the fucking fields or in the sun. Like, <laughs> yeah. like I worked everywhere, bro, like truck driving, construction. I never worked in like in the restaurant field or nothing like that, okay. but it was just more like hard labor and shit like right, that. Right, right, yeah. right. No, that's important, man. Um, shit, the funny thing is too, right? So obviously, uh, you know, parents or anybody else like that, that kind of like the older generation, yeah. they're used to that. Yeah, so, yeah, that's true. So when we moved, it's funny because I was kind of here for so long, right? So that was trabajo or, or work for my mother-in-law. So it's funny because when she moved, she was like, what the fuck does Lisa do? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's almost like they want to see us with a hammer and yeah, yeah, feel like we're that's working. True. So I tell her, like, look, I'm working on my online store. This is what I did. This is how much I made shit at this yeah. point. But they still don't get it, mm-hmm. you know? So it takes time, man. It's a modern. I mean, the world's really literally changing in front yeah. of their eyes. So yeah. um, my, dad's a, my dad's the same way, bro, too. When we started doing YouTube, was like, hey, what's going on trabajo? Yeah, right. That's, it's not, but like, like she, he understands now, and he sees me, and he's like, damn, like, and he always like, les a todos, oh, mi hijos, like, I'm yeah, yeah. this and that. He gets all excited, but like, yeah, bro, it's their old school ways, you know. Yeah, how was that growing up, man? For you, I know that you said that you're originally from here, right? Yeah, from South Central, South like, Central, yeah, and then uh, what part of Mexico are your parents from? Uh, my mom side is from Michoacan, and my dad side from Jalisco. Okay, two popular spots. And yeah. then how was it here in LA for you, like growing up in general? Yeah. Uh, growing up, bro, because South Central is kind of rough yeah. too, right? I remember back in the days, that's gonna sell those Watts riots and shit like that. Um, growing up in LA, you had to be like tough and shit like that. Siempre había like it would depend on the way you dress. Um, people would come up to you and be like, hey, be like "Where you from?" And just try to check you, right? Yeah, try to check you all the time. But like, uh, so growing up in South Central, a lot of people don't know about this. Only my close friends know about this. But like, uh, so it was my five brothers and one sister, and we all lived in this apartment, like for South Central, and um. So we used to help my mom in the mornings. We'll go, like, all of my brothers will go up to, like, in the mornings to go pick up cans and then sell them and shit. Mm-hmm. So we'll help my mom with, like, rent and shit and bills. And then in the afternoon, we'll sell, like, tamales and elotes and shit like that. So all day you guys were pretty much. Yeah, like, we were always, we were always like, hustlers, bro. Like, you had a So my brothers, like, I says like, in the store. I don't know what you call those things when in the street don't have a lot of water. Okay. There was cans right there. Yeah. And my brothers will grab me from the legs and. Get all the cans oh, and shit. So we're always hustling, bro, like trying to make money for like to help my mom out. Yeah, that's like, like that. 10 bucks right there at least. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I need elotes, tamales. We were always hustling, bro, like in, in LA growing up like that. But yeah, I met like a lot of, I had a lot of homies, like old gangbang and shit like that. But nunca, to me, it was never like, oh, I'm not going to get in the hood just because I'm there. I had a lot of homies now, like they hit me up, like, hey, bro, you're, I see you're doing good. But they're always with their like, gangster mentality like you're already old bro like why are you gonna yeah be with that shit like they, the hood never leaves them you yeah, know what yeah. i mean and that that's a big thing too because even in stockton growing up you know obviously north count so cal are different a lot of yeah, people yeah. have that confused they think yeah. that california is just la yeah. but there's another side mm-hmm. and obviously you know in la you have you know gang bangers that being blue north cal it's red yeah but it's so much bigger here, you know. I just feel like there's it, over over here everything's about you know hoods. Over there, it's more, but then everybody's banging the same color here. Over yeah. there, it's like they don't like blue, but then know, but it's, it's crazy. But though. it's still the same shit. It's like tagging and little clicks and blocks and all that shit. Yeah. But 
I mean, at least you wiggle your way through that. I'm sure that shit wasn't yeah. easy to you, you get easily influenced too. You yeah. know, I'm sure. But at Dang. least you stayed away from it, right? Yeah, because I, I didn't I never liked that shit. Just but they know that mentality where like I remember I used to like sit down in my room like fuck. I wonder what it is to be like famous and shit like that. He's like 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 with my comedy shit, you know, like when I was little and shit. So and it's crazy now that that I get paid for doing what I do and shit, like being funny and I mean people I like to do like skits too, like where people can relate and shit like that. Growing yeah. up as a as a Mexican or as a couple, go what couples go through and shit like that. Right. Yeah, that's big for me too on here, just having topics that talk about relationships and stuff because I mean, at the end of the day, like I told you in the beginning, people want to relate, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, we have this image, too, of, like, this perfect couple and family and yeah. good things going on. But yeah. they also have to know the shit in between that, yeah. you know? So that's important. Um, what about your content? I know that you have, like, new things that you're working on. So are you trying to kind of keep those skits going? Or, or yeah, do you pay I, attention a lot to, like, what's hitting? And then you go off of that, too? Yeah, I feel like I let myself go. Like, oh, shit, my bad. I feel like I let myself go, like because of all of our businesses bro like because we've been growing a lot so i feel like back then a lot of people would know me for my my skits yeah so and then i started working for fashion noah so i'm putting like like clothing and shit like that and i was like i feel like that's just dying me down because people want to see me in my funny shit yeah it's so they, they just like scroll through it yeah almost. yeah so a lot of people will be like hey when are you doing more skits do more skits please and this and that so i think in this year i want to do more more skits and shit and then just so people me conocen por eso, you know so yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So the skits is it more just of? What I'm trying to explain it. It's not like necessarily comedy that like you're gonna do a stand up yeah. comedy. It's just more so like what people acting, can relate, right? Yeah, yeah like acting, acting and stuff like that. <laughs> the, people can relate the, to. The one of the fucking um, I want to say Rosa Guadalupe. Those are always funny. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know which ones those are, but I, what's the most popular one that you have right like, now? What, what, what's your concept that people like a lot? I feel like a lot of people like where when I wear the wig like Nestorina and shit. <laughs> Nestorina. But uh, <laughs> like when we started doing Vlogmas too, people wanted us like to bring on Nestorina and shit. But I mean, they gotta understand too. It's kind of hard to make that content, you know, because you don't want to bring out like boring shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know what? Ah, that shit's fucking whack. So like, it's literally a character. Right? Yeah, it's like a character already because that shit started, bro. When uh, one time I, I brought Nestorina, I just wear a fucking wig one day and one of our vlogs. We were like at 50k subscribers. And then people were like, hey, bring out more Nestorina. We want to see more Nestorina. And I was like, fuck, they fucking loved it. Yeah. So I just started doing it from there and shit. And then you kind of like now, you guys do clothing too? Or what, yeah. what is what is it that you guys do online? So we sell, well, we have our two online stores. We have Shop the Aguilar's. We sell our merch right there. Mm -hmm. And then we have uh, Sebastian Aiden online store. We sell like uh, girl clothes and shit like that. Um, eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Cool. just started with her lashes too. That's cool. And we have an actual boutique, too, right there in Phoenix. So people shop right there. Okay, a storefront. Like mm -hmm. Storefront, yeah. What's the difference now doing online and storefront for you? Uh, I feel like it's I feel like it's the same, bro. Yeah, yeah. it's good. Yeah, I feel like it's the same and shit. Like, it's just more, I feel like our, we have a great team right now that they just know what they're doing now. Before, that's, like, that's a lot of people, part, huh? yeah, a lot of people would, didn't know that when we started Sebastian Aiden, bro, we started off at in our loft. Okay. And we had, like, bags everywhere and shit. Yeah. And then we didn't have the right tools, so we threw on, like, three or 400 orders online, and we had to, like, cut the fucking shipping labels and then <laughs> tape it and shit. That's how you learn, though. Yeah. It's just like anything, just how you were talking about your childhood and, and in the modern day, you got to fuck up like that and learn Yeah, same shit here, right? Like, you printed 20 orders, but they came on the wrong paper, yeah. stuff like that, and uh -huh. then you start learning that there's better things that make it easier. Yeah. And um, that's the cool part about having an online business that, yeah. I mean, when I moved, I focused on the online business a lot. And then that's when it started to take mm -hmm. off for me. And I had to, bro, because I was just such a robot cutting hair that that's all I knew. And I felt like, shit, it's just what, you want to do something different do forever, yeah. you know? Yeah. And us moving, it wasn't something that obviously we expected to happen, but because it did, I was able to grow mm -hmm. um, in other areas. And now we're here doing a fucking podcast, which, you know, the, the funny thing bro. is people that that don't that know me since i was little they're like I would, this motherfucker never talked <laughs> he has a podcast that yeah when i first met you bro like um because a lot of people think i'm i'm serious i have that serious face and yeah. shit but when they first meet me they're like oh shit it's Habla, you know yeah but when i first met you i was like oh it's probably like really quiet so i tried like i remember when we first met we were, we were eating tacos and shit at the beauty creations and shit i was like this was cool and shit yeah but i'll see now i stay in my little cocoon man honestly um but that's cool that you stay in your own lane and shit like just yeah. be yourself and shit yeah you know? but then somehow it still stands out you know and yeah, i don't yeah. even really post bro that's why i'm excited to like start actually posting more stuff shit that people like not necessarily skits like funny shit but just more so the everyday 
stuff the work yeah. on top of the work yeah, do. Yeah. the work behind the work kind of thing yeah and i think people enjoy that because without really trying you know the inspirational motivational shit that's why people yeah. still follow me you know yeah, yeah. i so feel like i yeah. gotta work with that well i feel like back in the days uh a lot of people like, always tell us like hey how come you guys don't go live no more and this and that like uh before we used to do a lot of shit bro we used to go live with, with like our supporters and stuff like that and i feel like right now the internet's so like sensitive yeah he said something stupid oh shit you know and that's why sometimes we don't like try to like mention something or or give our word on something if something happens in like on media they always tell us hey you're gonna give your word on this like we don't say shit because if you say something good or bad they're not gonna like it no yeah shit. for sure yeah so i know that you said that you guys were um already together 17 years you might be wrong but <laughs> fuck <laughs> so 17 years it might be 18 19 no, i'm kidding yeah so how how's the relationship been man i mean on top of the, the fact that you guys have kids and stuff i think people are probably interested in mm -hmm. you know how do you guys keep it alive i wanted to touch on that a bit shit just uh a lot of communication bro i'm not gonna lie to you like s since uh we started working together in the house you know like it's right. hard it's hard yeah, because right. you have different ideas and she has different ideas like every month we sit down and brainstorm what we're gonna do for the month and we just start like saying, "Hey, we should do this video," and they're like, "No, that's kind of it's gonna suck," and blah blah blah. Like, and so because I'm more, I'm more into the comedy shit, and I, I what I do now, bro, like I like fucking research shit, and then what's trending, and mm -hmm. let's do this. But we always had to switch to it. Like always, our channel. I feel like our channel is more like a reality show. Yeah. So it's more like, um, and I know what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. Right. And shit. So and you then you know what your crowd's there yeah. to look at so candy's the same way too but sometimes like no nah, i don't think i don't think so so we get into an argument for like five minutes and shit but oh it's good to like have good communication good communication and then um fuck bro we all everybody had their good and bad days yeah, and shit like that sure. but i'll oh, just give yourself space time being like uh, what i do in the weekends i'll just go wash my car drive around and shit like that yeah. just give yourself space that way like you guys are not together all the time you know yeah, yeah you need that especially working together that's that's one of the things that took me a while to kind of help her understand because obviously i stopped cutting so yeah it's like what are you gonna do now or how are you gonna figure it out and now you're home a lot more right so my whole thing was like dad mode everything like dad mode dad mode dad mode but then i got so stuck being a dad that yeah. i let go of this other stuff that i really was actually you know trying to do so little by little bro it started picking up and stuff for me and i started getting you know figuring out and the podcast was big for me mm -hmm. and you know i'm just kind of excited you know sometimes like you said about the content and what people like um there was a lot of motivational shit season one but this one i just want to be more freelance a little more yeah. myself more loose like more raw I'm, and shit more raw and then good, of bro. course they see the more of the personality different guests that i bring on the first time it was just literally me getting into this habit of learning how to do it that's why the easiest thing is bringing people yeah. that you know but then you know they get to see you know you we've never had a conversation this long yeah, yeah so no. we're still sitting here for like over 40 minutes talking about stuff right yeah um so that's the cool part it shows the depth really and like how much the podcast has grown so that's good bro that that's dope um i lost the train of thought of something else you mentioned right now you were talking about relationships right yeah yeah so that shit's you know on top of the kids too bro you gotta like i said take time not just for you guys but also for you because you're still an individual at the end of the yeah, day i know and a lot of people think you know in marriage they feel like well i'm gonna do whatever she wants and i'm gonna do everything mm. but you have to also you have to be happy with yourself first yeah, is what yeah, we're trying true. to say yeah and, i understand you on that because and understand like what fills your cup yeah you know what i mean because candy that's what i tell candy like your dream was to open a boutique and and like that's your passion you know yeah because as, as somebody said candy like what is something you want to do like man like i want to do a lot of shit but like i want to first like support your dream first and then let the winning meal yeah that's dope so uh for years bro like a lot of my friends would be like hey you have the voice to be a like an locutor you know so i'm mm -hmm. just like all right yeah i'll probably like think about it and shit like that and i always wanted to start my own little channel and shit like that so this year the podcast and shit like that but like yeah like something you, said, you, you, always you, you were mentioning you want to do something yes. like that too right yeah so i want to have like my own little like you said like my own little thing going on and shit like that because i'm like okay you do your we have our own family channel I'm always going to be there too and shit, but like I want to do my own little shit yeah, too. Like yeah, have my own little own time. And it also kind of grows in another aspect. Like let's say somebody sees a channel now and is not that interested, but then you bring on this and they're yeah. like hooked on you now. Yeah. You know what I mean? So True. then they start finding stuff. So that's good. I'm sure it'll do well. And then you'll yeah, add your own you twist know. to it to where you can add the comedy in there. Yeah. Um. So really like a locutor is kind of like a radio host almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I would give me your best line right now. Let's say you were starting your own 97.8. Bueno, 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 bueno. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're approved 
That's hella funny. So yeah, bro, like it's just like it's been a thing. Like my homie, like I tell you, he works for him. He's telling like, bro, you have that that because he he says that it's different kind of voices on the radio. And he said I have like a like the deepest one that's like nobody has and shit yeah. like that. So I'm just like fuck because even my my son, my 15 year old son, uh, Ethan, yeah, he has a deeper voice than me. Oh shit. Yeah. So I'm just like, um, I always tell him too, like you should start doing this and that. He's like, nah. Shit, um, might as well put yeah. him on the on the, in the studio yeah, start yeah. recording some songs at this but, point. For, for real, shit. But <laughs> he might have a voice. Yeah, Ethan's coming out of his shell and shit. Like now, like he's getting older. I always tell him too, like, hey, you know what? He's more of the, he's more of the shy one mm-hmm. in the family and shit. So, cause also someone's getting like burlones and shit like that. Yeah. Like we like to fuck around and shit like that. But he's more like more on the side and shit. And I always tell him, hey, bro, you should start doing this. You're you're, you're young. You know, people want to know more about you and shit. Like start vlogging. So he just started vlogging again. Yeah. And. And he'll figure it out. I yeah. think he'll figure it out. Excuse me. So with me too, like a lot of people, like my wife would tell me, like start vlogging. They want to see you. But como que no me gustaba the vlog stuff. Yeah. I didn't really like the idea of I'm doing so much shit and I want everybody to see. It. I didn't yeah. really like that. And then um, I tried it for a bit, but like I said, they didn't really ever know me too deep. So it was like, okay, I'm bored. You know, I don't yeah. really like what I'm seeing. So I didn't care for them. Mm-hmm. Um, but it at least kind of got me in the rhythm of editing and, and just recording. And then now with the podcast, I, I'm like so much more comfortable doing these That's and people stuff. like that. And there's, there's season two is definitely a lot different. The first one I told you, it would just sit down the entire season every single week, which was a challenge too. Yeah. It was a big commitment recording every week and making sure you're on time and punctual. Cause people judge you for that too. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, why didn't you post? So now with the second one, it's a little more freelance. I have different setup that people are eventually going to see um not just here but everywhere man so i'm excited about that and that's, that's what it is man just about growing and yeah and visualizing and supporting each other obviously if, you, if you're with your significant other yeah that's um, good though because that's how we are bro like we don't like to be in just one spot we're like no somos como se dice in, in hispanic uh mexicans say like no somos conformistas, sí, like, conformistas yeah. we're just like we move on to one thing we want another thing if it doesn't work move on to the other thing that's right. how we are bro yeah you're pretty much like um I don't know. You're not letting that determine, like, you know, the success, I yeah. guess you can say. And a lot of people that, that get into it, bro, you notice people that, that you know, yeah. they, they have the, the, the want, but then they don't really do the work. Yeah. And they think it's, like, you know, yeah. super easy. But it takes a lot of yeah. um, not not quitting because shit's not going to just take off right away. That's the thing. Um, so what would be your advice to anybody that's trying to maybe they do want to get into the comedy side of it, doing skits or, in this case, YouTube um i feel like what what are some you know some words of advice for anybody listening out there i feel like just be be yourself bro like be be original don't try to be like like anybody else and shit like try to copy like their like their content and shit like that like just be be original just try to bring out your own skits and be like you know what i'm gonna try this shit out if it doesn't work out just fucking do your own thing but you always be be yourself and shit like that if you're like like fucking you're like uh, like original. It doesn't you don't force yourself to be funny, you know. Yeah. Because yeah. I always see like other people. I'm like, fuck, this one's, it's, it's like not, cringy, right? Yeah. And just like, nah, like be yourself and shit. Like, cause I got naturally and shit, you know. Like, just don't force yourself to be funny and shit like that. If it comes out like that, just be yourself, and people will actually like like you for being like original for you, yeah. literally for being you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's important. Um, and then not really overthinking the content too. I'm sure sometimes yeah. like maybe when you first started, you're like, should I post this shit? Yeah, yeah. Like I'm in true. a wig and then yeah. the whole thing and then it, it just boom. And Those people, are the ones that do good. Yeah, and people see me with tattoos because I can relate to shit like that because I grew up like in the hood and shit like that and back in the day like the party line fucking a bunch of shit. So I can relate to shit like that and I, and I put it in there and I mix it up. And then people are like, fuck, you're fucking on point and this and that. Like, it's yeah. true, like, because people get related. I Especially people, Hispanics, shit. right? Yeah. Like, I feel like all the Hispanics are the same but different mm-hmm. in, yeah. in a sense. Yeah. But um, that's good, man. That That's good. Um, I was going to ask you something else. We're going to a commercial break. <laughs> 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 I really feel like I'm in the fucking... Somebody was saying it looks like a newscast over here. Shit, it does, though. It, it, really, looks, like it looks like Univision. For real. Um... That shit's funny, but hold on, let me take a break. I need to take a breather. <laughs> How does it sound so far? It's good. It's cool. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a, a lot of this shit, bro. I I end up editing after or whatever. Yeah. But like the way we started in the beginning when he was trying to take the thing, I'm oh, gonna yeah. include that because <laughs> it's just funny and it's yeah, what's yeah. happening in the moment and people are gonna laugh at that. So I'm I'm being a little more open to not making this whole picture perfect. Does it take you like a long time to edit when you have like three cameras? Um, no, because what I do is I may, I import the audio. So I import the audio and then I, you know, I usually like to probably do 
um, the angle of both of us in the bottom and then okay. the, the one of you and then the one of me. And depending, like if you say some funny shit or something that I want to really like emphasize on, I would focus the camera on you. So I just cut. But if you look at the screen, like those I know about editing, okay. you'll be like, fuck, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah. But I already got the hang of it. And I got good at it because I had a videographer edit it for me one time and he thought it was so hard. Uh, and I'm like, shit, I guess I didn't realize how good I got at it. You know what I mean? Up. So um, you get good at it. You know, I just threw myself in there, bro. I said, fuck it. I'm just going to have to Be learn, shit. you know, the three angles. And I, I ran into a lot of problems in the beginning recording the podcast. Just um, one of the cameras would die or my batteries uh, were in charge. Preparation with this is super important. Like making sure you have all the right equipment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like all my tripods are set at a certain height. All my camera settings are at a certain, um, you know, level, and um, the rest it, it becomes a lot easier, bro, when you're prepared. Well, yeah, so the reason the reason why I ask you because a lot of my friends are um, they do video and shit like that. Um, they're telling me about the switcher that would be easier for me to edit. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yes. I'm sure there's a lot of shit. I just haven't sat with anybody else that knows more than me, like on that sense. And I have, but it takes time to learn too, you yeah, know. But maybe that would shit. be easier shit. Um, I guess right now I'm learning the hard way, so that might, that might make it easier when I do yeah. learn that. You yeah, know, because I feel like you have to just have somebody behind the camera. Just yeah, I mean, shit, shit. Eventually, I mean, it looks like a production studio in here, yeah, low key. But if I had a full time like person there, like it would be dope. And I mean, eventually, you want to get to the point where it grows so big where you do have a team and yeah. like yo, they're already they're already editing right now that's while we're done, and then that tight. video just ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's good, man. I've developed. You know, I have a little team, and it's important with whatever you do having a little team. So I have my guy that I literally send him the files. He'll start cutting, making reels out of it. Um, funny, some serious. That's tight. And then, you know, he'll make my YouTube coverage and stuff. So you just got to find your people. Yeah. But, bro, like, honestly, he saved my life in the beginning because if he wasn't doing those for me, I would it would fuck up my consistency a lot. So uh, shout out to him. But, That's cool. you know, you'll, you'll figure it out once you start your own stuff and stuff. I'm yeah. sure people will be excited about that. So That's what are you going to call it? If you don't have a name, we're going to have to have them well, drop one in the comments. Well, at first... At first, I was thinking of a Cayete podcast because I'll say a lot of Cayete and shit, but Kenny was telling me, no, I don't think that will go with you because the, why are you going to say Cayete if it's, people are going to be talking and shit like that? So I'm still, well, thinking, I'm still yeah. thinking about it, but Cayete. I feel like people know me because of that, because Cayete. But I think it could probably be like a reverse one where instead of Cayete, it could be like No Te Calles kind of shit. Oh, like, no so it's kind of like you're reversing that same concept yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're actually going to be obviously not, not shutting up. That's true. The, yeah, because I fucking talk a lot, bro. A lot of people think that oh, still, it, it, it doesn't because Candy does more so than talking sometimes on the vlogs and shit. Yeah. Um, but she, she's good at giving information. I'm bad at fucking explaining shit sometimes. Yeah. So I was like, I'm just, I'm just fucking <laughs> you just go all over yeah, the place. Just huh? do it, yeah. I'm more like the funny guy in the vlogs and shit. But all, um, so yeah, bro, like when people see me, like, oh shit, I thought you didn't even talk to them. I'm like, bro, shit, I left. I like, to fucking talk a lot of shit. Yeah, you wait for the opportunity to do it. That's kind of yeah. how I am, too. That's what a lot of people give me. But, no, that's mm -hmm. cool, man. Um, You know, good luck with that. Thank you, bro. Good luck with everything else that you guys are doing. Happy to see you guys are doing good. Yeah. It sounds like everything's underway. And uh, just keep it up. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thank uh, you for inviting me, bro. Yeah, shout Cheers. out to everybody in Arizona. I've never visited, so maybe I'll go now. Sure. At the Nestor said it's going to Well, you have to go in March, bro. Yeah, we have to now, right? Yeah. So, if you guys enjoyed the episode, make sure you guys drop a comment down below make sure you guys subscribe like share this video let us know what was your favorite part and i hope that you guys if you guys stuck around this long i mean shit i enjoyed the episode i'm sure a lot of people um yeah. will as well and um not only on youtube but if you guys want to actually listen to us in the car since you guys are driving spotify and apple um podcasts uh you can find us on there on apple and spotify so make sure you guys do that any lads uh, any last words last Nestor? words the locutor voice though if not yeah. I don't want it. Nos vemos en el otro episodio de What is it called? <laughs> <laughs> Need a podcast. <laughs> Se necesita. You got to say it in Spanish at this point. Se necesita. Se necesita podcast. See you guys next time. Much love. Thank you, bro. Yeah, thank you, Appreciate guys. It. Peace.